Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Trish Cooks, and this week is my second video and I'm going to be making something incredibly delicious and sweet and chocolatey, so if you are not into chocolate, first of all, why? Why? <coughs> Second of all, maybe this is not the recipe for you. Um, however, I would try it because honestly it's insane. So it's basically a American style chocolate chip cookie, but it's triple chocolate. I'm going to be using this dark black cocoa powder, also known as Dutch cocoa powder, um, instead of normal cocoa powder. The reason being that not only does it give us a really cool black finish, um, a bit like Oreos, but also when they process starch cocoa powder, what they do is they remove all the acidity from it um, that you get in normal cocoa powder. It just gives it this really smooth, rich, and just luxurious finish. That being said, if you don't have black cocoa powder, which I had to get online because it's not that easy to get in the shops, then just use normal cocoa powder and it will still be like the most amazingly, mind-blowingly delicious cookie of possibly your life. I'm gonna have both white and dark chocolate in this cookie. So it kind of adds that like bitterness, but also the sweetness that we all crave and want in our lives. I'm gonna stop rambling now, and we're gonna start. So I will put all of the specific uh, measurements in the description box, but to give you an overview, you start with some muscovado sugar, and then we're gonna have the black cocoa powder, um, a mix of dark and white chocolate, cooking chocolate that you just cut up, you can use chocolate chips if you prefer, um, plain flour, some white caster sugar to balance out the um, brown sugar, then some baking powder, one whole egg and an egg yolk, which will, the additional egg yolk will add some real richness, some corn flour, and room temperature butter, very important that it's room temperature. So you can use a KitchenAid or a mixer, but I like to do it by hand. Make sure that once you've measured the ingredients, you make sure you add them all and you don't leave any um, in the bowls because baking is accuracy is quite important. Um, add in the muscovado sugar. Oh, and you should preheat your oven at this point to 180 degrees Celsius. Um, then you put in the white sugar. And you can just keep giving that a stir until it gets to a really nice brown paste where everything's incorporated. This is why it's so important in the butter's room temperature because otherwise it's going to make this really hard. So now just add in your eggs. Just giving you a close up here so you can kind of see the consistency a bit better in case you wanted to understand what the texture should be like. Then you add in your flour, baking powder, and um, corn flour, and cocoa powder. I always um, add in the flour, corn flour, and baking powder together because I sieve them together. Um, then you don't need to worry too much about how you mix this. You can fold it, you can just mix it however. It should just be incorporated. And then you want to add in about two thirds of your um, chocolate chips because um, the rest will be using to top the cookies for a good aesthetic. And this is the texture you'll have um, before you bake your cookie. I like to put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes just so it's not too soft. Once chilled, um, scoop out your dough in an ice cream scoop onto a baking tray lined with greaseproof paper and use the remaining chocolate chips um, on the top of each cookie and leave them a nice distance apart because they will spread. Then you bake them for 40 minutes in your preheated oven and you will get these beautiful, gooey, shiny chocolate cookies. Oh, I'm gonna open a window. It's way too hot in here. Um, so, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and 
here are the amazing final chocolate chip triple chocolate cookies so good i just had two so good so gooey chocolatey heaven um yeah so subscribe if you like this video and um tune in next sunday for another recipe leave me a comment if you had a suggestion for something you'd like me to make and then i can like try my best have a nice sunday bye